Good morning children. Welcome back to the English channel for grade 5. Children, today we will be starting a new lesson under the prose section that is lesson 2 named the nuclear test. In this video, I will give you only the summary and exercises of this lesson because otherwise it will be too long a video. So, this lesson, the nuclear test, before starting the lesson, let me ask you a few questions. Because this story, this lesson is based on the importance of grandparents. So, let me ask, do you enjoy your grandparents' company? Do you like if they stay with you? Yes. All are not staying? Okay. Your grandparents are not staying with you? Okay. Do you visit them often? Do you like to visit them? Yes. Do they help you in your school works or in other works? Yes. So children, even if they are staying far in a different place, you people are enjoying your grandparents' company. But what will happen if to a suddenly somebody like your grandparents or who are always staying alone, suddenly they will get a change and your parents, grandparents and Lars family will come to stay with you. Let's see what happens in this story to Anjali. This story that is the nuclear test actually it gives it shows the advantages and disadvantages of a nuclear family. Nuclear means small family the parents and their children. So this story gives the shows the importance of grandparents. Here there is a small girl named Anjali and her mother is removing all her clothes and everything from the cupboard and vacating her room because her grandparents are staying, coming to stay with her, that is her dada and dadi. And Anjali being always raised alone, being nurtured alone, she doesn't feel happy that she has to vacate her own room in which she is staying from her ch childhood. Now she is asking her mother not to vacate the room. And her mother is convincing her that you have to stay in the drawing room or you have to sleep in the couch till the time grandparents are staying with us and because uh, Anjali's father is very keen is very interested to have a joint family he wanted all the time that her, his parents should stay with them so he has persuaded he has motivated their parents to come from the village and stay with them and now dada dadi came to stay with Anjali's family and Anjali being little selfish, being nurtured alone, she is not feeling happy but she is not showing or giving any rude comment. She is trying to be polite and slowly uh, and as you know if your grandparents will come then we have to make a little adjustment. Anjali's uh, chacha jis that is his father's brothers and sisters are staying brothers are staying in abroad and only Bua that is his father's uh, sister Rita Bua is staying in Delhi and Dada Dadi came to stay with them in Pune Anjali is staying with in Pune now when grandparents came it is little bit true that they have to make little adjustment like Dada Dadi used to get up very early in the morning before anybody wakes up they, have, they would be having some puja or the other every day. They would give objection for anything in food like they don't like the outside food or junk food. They don't like onions or the eggs, isn't it? They don't uh, want it to go outside or to go for shopping or restaurants or watching movies, theaters. This type of small adjustment now they have to make like that Anjali thought. But it was not true. When Anjali's grandparents came, though they are so down to earth, so kind hearted that they tried to adjust with Anjali by giving her her own favorite kind of t-shirts and dresses. They also tried to watch that kind of TV serials they Anjali likes and uh, Anjali's grandparents started helping her with the math syllabus and also he uh, gave her he gave her the habit of reading the newspaper they would exchange all kinds of news world views etc and also they his grandpa will go to 
uh, walk with her to the bus stop every morning and anjali's mother she was working in office so she used to be very uh, busy with her work and she usually have only conflicts or sandwiches for lunch and breakfast now what happened as her dadi came the dadi took over the kitchen all alone she used to prepare lots of sabjis lots of uh, delicious parathas mithai pakodas salads pickles everything now every day they are having proper food and anjali's mother is also getting little rest so as as even she is getting little more time for anjali so they are having a very happy nice uh, life now but still anjali misses her own room so when once dada dadi said that they have to go to rita was home to delhi anjali became very happy she burst out in happy and she said can i have my room back then dada dadi when are you going then there was a silence because everybody understood what anjali needs wants and dada dadi went to rita was home now anjali is alone but she is not at all feeling happy her mother father scolded her for showing such kind of behavior but she got her home but she is still not feeling happy she is not uh, enjoying her tv she is not enjoying her food now again she feels like the room becomes very big so now that means she now regret that her dada dadi are not there and she is missing them immensely now once the phone rang and that time danjali came back ran quickly and picked up to say dada dadi when are you coming back that means it shows how happiness we feel when that we have a joint family when we have a large family so this is the importance of a large happy family understood children so let's go for the uh, glossary words and exercises write down the glossary words couch means a long comfortable sofa exasperated means irritated nudging means push gently migrate means move from one place to another abroad means foreign country persuaded means urged insisted fussy means difficult to please practice means badly behaved child wrath means anger awkward means lacking in grace imprisoned means caged addiction means strong attraction melod means sustain trius means temporary dill hint of apology means feeling sorry he want cry means loud first immeasurable assured means very certain done let's start the comprehension first one choose the most appropriate answer anjali's father persuaded dada to come to pune because he wanted to take care of his aged parents question number 2 anjali enjoyed meeting her grandparents the choose the one during holidays pick out the word that best describes no whether the following statements are true or false second main anjali always disliked sharing her things with others true anjali's mother was a fantastic cook no not true dada and dadi enjoyed shopping for fun false anjali was extremely happy when her grandparents decided to go to rita's place yes true now pick out the word that best describes anjali anjali is very possessive dada is very pious dadi is very caring anjali's father how is he yes he is also possessive anjali's mother is busy grandfather uh, fourth in the table given behind list out the various h m r v in which anjali's parents rendered help in which grandfather uh, in which anjali's grandparents rendered help gives help so grandfather he helped anjali with her projects she is facing anjali's grandmother she is a fantastic cook anjali's grandfather helped in math syllabus anjali's grandfather exchanged world views that is news fourth one he walked with her to the bus stop every morning and how is her grandmother she is a fantastic cook she is cared for anjali she was reassured that grandma is there and she was pious answer the following questions in two or three sentences each fifth main 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई डिट एंजलिस मदर रिमूव ऑल हर थिंग्स फ्रॉम द कबोर्ड आंसर इज एंजलिस मदर रिमूव ऑल हर थिंग्स फ्रॉम द कबोर्ड बिकॉज एंजलिस ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स नीडिड टू कीप देयर थिंग्स इन द कबोर्ड दे वुड कम टू स्टे दे आर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू हाउ ओल्ड वॉज एंजलिस ग्रैंड फादर ग्रैंड फादर वाई वॉज इट डिफिकल्ट फॉर हिम टू लिव इन द विलेज आंसर इज दादा वॉज नाजिंग सेवेंटी नाउ एंड आज टू ओल्ड टू बी एबल टू रन द फार्म ऑल बाई हिमसेल्फ ही हैड प्रमिस्ड ही वुड नॉट लिव हिज बिलव्ड लैंड टिल ही डाइड बट ही वॉज फाइंडिंग इट मोर एंड मोर डिफिकल्ट टू लिव दे आर एलोन राइटिंग फोर्थ मेन आंसर द फॉलोइंग इन वन पैराग्राफ और सिक्स टू एट सेंटेंसेस दैट इज लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फैमिली बिकेम ए न्यूक्लियर फैमिली अगेन वट ब्रॉट अबाउट दिस चेंज आंसर आफ्टर हर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स लिफ्ट देर वॉज नो वन टू टॉक टू अंजलि हर मदर वॉज अगेन ओवर वर्क विथ नो टाइम फॉर एनी वन और एनी बडी बट मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल द नॉइज एंड बशल ऑफ वन बिग फैमिली हैड फेडेड इन टू साइलेंस द हाउस ऑल एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फीट ऑफ कंपार्ट स्पेस कंपार्ट स्पेस प्लानिंग सडनली लुक टू बिग दिस मेड दम न्यूक्लियर फैमिली अगेन Question number two. Anjali was too eager to have her grandparents back. What does this tell you about Anjali? It tells that Anjali realized the importance of grandparents' presence in the house. They helped and showed care towards her all these days. She wanted to have her grandparents again. Their being in the house made a tremendous change in her life. It would always make her busy with things. Question number three. is the title of the story suitable to the context give your opinion yes answer it is really suitable title the nuclear test to this lesson it reflects the importance of a joint family in the absence of the grandparents the family felt somewhat abandoned but after having the grandparents back the things are very different joint family is the best family in my view language exercise let's start the vocabulary give the one word substitute one who resides temporarily outside the country is called expatriate one who is only concerned with oneself is egocentric a state of perfect balance is called equilibrium one who is 100 years old centenarian a person in his 60s sexagenarian now grammar now form the plurals of the following words house houses students students toy toys flower flowers knife knives cloth clothes berry berries i eyes table tables piece pieces company companies lorry lorries so every word that ends with i would become es and others would added only s identify the error in the following words and write them correctly boss you should be only spelling should be b u s machines only one s bullocks should be apostrophe s vehicle photos should be only one s hall should be half tomatoes would be e s potatoes s carbs b e s now write a paragraph on a day in your school or you can use the following hints so you can write any one paragraph like this like other th- Uh, I go to my school at eight thirty a.m. in the mornings. My classes begin at nine a.m. Other than studies, some extracurricular activities would be done. For example, quiz, speech competition, recitation, or singing competition, etc. I play volleyball, cricket, and kabaddi. I go back home at four thirty p.m. every day. After the school hours, our teachers give us singing practice, games, extra coaching, etc. Remedial classes, etc. Done children hope you understand like share and subscribe if you understand